to first of all welcome everybody to Eton College Rowing Centre, now famously known as Eton Dorney, thanks to London 2012. Deputy Mayor of the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead, Councillor Andrew Jenner, thank you. Our special guest, Sophie Christensen, MBE, triple Paralympic gold medalist. Um, we are so delighted and excited to have you here with us tonight and to touch your medal. <laughs> Peter Colburn, man of the team from raging sponsors tonight, and of course our colleagues, the press, guests, and most importantly, nominees. We also harness the power of volunteers within the organisation. We've got a lot of our residents who give their time to get involved in their communities, uh, to get involved in uh, helping to uh, to manage the services and to give us their feedback and we see the power uh, that that actually delivers as a business we've seen our, our satisfaction uh, amongst our communities and residents go up significantly so to be able to sort of support something like this i think for us is a very good fit with our our aims uh, you'll see on our boards here where people flourish is one of our uh, our key um, sort of, uh, terms uh, for the business of one of our objectives and, and I think tonight we're going to see a lot of people who've also helped communities flourish and individuals flourish. Tamida is from Maidenhead and has been nominated by Rob Deeks for her work again with Aixar together as well. Tamida volunteers with eight different organisations the community benefits in a diverse array of ways because Tamina's volunteering is so varied and far-reaching. It's said that Tamina never stops. She's constantly volunteering and giving her time to make the borough a better place for all of his residents, regardless of their background. Rob says that he believes she deserves an award, not just for her role within XR but for the sheer scale of her dedication to a whole range of organisations. For Tamina, her commitment to the community comes first, sleep second. She has a fantastic demeanour and the kind of attitude that we try to instil in all children. by Jenny Boren, plus Jenny's been working very hard, uh, for his volunteering with Sports Sable and Churches Together Maidenhead. Andy has helped with the archery section for over 10 years. An accomplished archer himself, Andy has taken on board the diverse needs of the members and developed these, these athletes to ensure their full inclusion in the sport. He also coordinates all their competitive events. As a member of Churches Together, in Maidenhead, Andy also volunteers as a youth worker and a helper at their annual Christmas lunch. He even finds time to coach young people 
performed their GCSE maths exams whilst retraining to become a maths teacher. Definitely a superstar there. Mm -hmm. um, Andy has been a regular and reliable volunteer for over 10 years with Sports Able, and his cheery disposition, beaming smile, and quiet, methodical, unobtrusive support to our members and charity is something that our members very much look forward to every week. Thank you. in this category is Heather Devani. And the winner of the trophy for this category is Andy Small. from Maidenhead, uh, nominated by Christine Price for her volunteering work with the Alzheimer's Dementia Support. Uh, Sandy has been helping them for the last 11 years, supporting people with dementia and their carers in a variety of ways. She regularly befriends them and takes them out to relieve their isolation. She helps by accompanying the team on the annual holiday weekend. She supports the dementia advisors, helps to run drop-ins, lunch clubs, and social functions. She's always willing to give lifts so people can access our services. Her main role, though, is fundraising for the charity, and she was the driving force for getting the shop in Maidenhead to raise both the awareness of the services and much-needed funds. Sandy has also organised 150 collection tins across the community, raising £1,000 a month. Christine says that Sandy is a wonderful ambassador for people with dementia and their carers. Her work has been relentless over the last 11 years, even when she was having mobility problems with a bad back. Sandy. that this fantastic group of people have given. 
In the year 2012, when our country has just witnessed the greatest Paralympic Games ever, it is right and fitting that we recognize the efforts of this team and the excellence of those people working at grassroots level of disability sport. Goes to Jackie Witt. So, is anybody picking up for her? The final award is the overall winner who gets to keep the trophy forever and ever, and that is Vivian Davis. Break for drinks and uh, nibbles. Um, we have actually one more presentation to make this evening because, as you will appreciate, that um, not only is the team event of the uh, equestrian uh, sport uh, a team, but in fact the in individual events comprise a team effort as well. And Sophie has been supported in her success by I think it's Janeiro Six. Yeah. And um, from what I've read and seen, this is a particularly brilliant animal, well beyond uh, the talents of more conventional um, <laughs> horses. In that, as you'll appreciate, and this is quite a serious point, uh, clearly Sophie is given to certain <laughs> involuntary movement. And, and Janeiro is able to, I think I'm right in saying, to establish a difference between those involuntary movement, movements which you have and those where you're trying to get a message across to what <laughs> he's supposed to do next. So basically it does take two to tango, and I think almost literally in terms of the freestyle event. So Sophie, we felt tonight we couldn't leave Janeiro out of this very special occasion. <laughs> so we have one final award which uh, <laughs> 